Hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. I was getting ready to cook me up a meal. It's a meal in a pot, I call it. And I was thinking, hey, let's record this and I can show you or give you an example of one of my meals I make up. This is just one example. Uh, I tend to run with things for a long time. So I've got this chicken broccoli recipe I'm getting ready to show you going for a long time, but I love it. And uh, so let me show you uh, what, I'm, what I did and what it looks like and what's in it. Hopefully it won't scare you off, but uh, let me show you what I did and how I did it and I'll catch back up in a minute. Okay, so this particular meal is consists of six boneless chicken thighs. Now you could also use chicken breast. Chicken thighs are a little fattier. Obviously there's gonna be a little bit more fat, a little more calories. Um, these particular chicken thighs were on sale, so I'm using them. Um, one tip on cutting up chicken like this, I mean, I dice it up so it cooks faster. And if you have the chicken not totally, completely defrosted, it makes it a whole lot easier to chop up like this. And what I'll do, and I'll show you in a minute, I'll put this in a five quart pot, <clears throat> a five quart pot with about a, tea, a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I'm gonna throw in some um, broccoli. Um, I'm not sure that I think this is about a pound of broccoli. It's a whole bag and I microwaved it to a point. And so I'm going to cook the chicken up to where it's mostly done. Then I'm going to throw in the broccoli and then I'm going to add, I don't have it out with me right now, but believe it or not, I'm going to add some mild chunky salsa. And then I let it all cook down, cook some of the moisture out of it. And it, to me, is delicious. I love this. So Let's get to it. Okay, so I've added the uh, diced up chicken thighs. And keep in mind, you could use chicken breasts as well. Any chicken meat at all, I guess, for that matter. But, um, so I'm gonna let this cook up, and it takes about five minutes with the chicken diced up for it to get like 95% done. And uh, once it gets to that point, I'm gonna put the broccoli in and the salsa, and then let it cook down for a minute. Okay, the chicken is by and large cooked. Um, like I said, again, you could use chicken breast for this if you wanna make it a little bit leaner. Now I'm gonna add my, my broccoli to this and then some salsa and let it simmer and cook some of the moisture out of it a bit. Now, like I said, I think this, this bag of broccoli was a pound. I don't know, I already threw the bag away and I'm not digging through the trash. But uh, broccoli, six deboned chicken thighs, and a half of a 24 ounce can of chunky mild, in my case, I like mild uh, salsa. So I'm gonna mix it all together, let it cook and simmer for about 15 minutes. Alrighty, so stirred it up. I'm gonna let it simmer on a Kind of a low heat and uh, let it go for about 15 minutes come back and check on it make sure it's kind of thickened up really good and then I'm gonna dig in all right there you go so I'm gonna let this rest up for you know 10 minutes or so so it's not uh, super hot I don't like things super hot and then I'm gonna dig in so like I said I think this is probably good for me that's probably three three separate meals here but uh, give it a try, or not, I love it. So there you go. All right, there it is. My chicken, broccoli, salsa, meal in a pot. Um, hopefully you didn't find that too uh, vile. Uh, it actually is kind of tasty. In particular, if you let the, uh, let it, let it uh, simmer down a little bit and cook some of the moisture out of it, thicken up, that salsa really is good there. Uh, that's good for, like I said, about three, four meals for me, no more than four. Um, I, pu I published a video a couple of weeks ago that uh, went over, um, I think it was a day of eating, or it gave, me a, it gave you an example of what I eat in a day, and a complete calorie breakdown, and a macro breakdown. I'll link that down below, just to give you a few more specifics on my diet. Um, this one here, I have no idea. Uh, I could ballpark what's in it calorie-wise and macro-wise, but... At this point in the game, I kind of have an idea of what this much means and how much this much means for me, because I've gotten used to it. 
at any rate, uh, glad you stopped by. Uh, hopefully that was helpful to a degree. Um, if you would, please uh, click that like button for me. Always click that like button. If you're this far in, I would, I would appreciate that. And if you haven't already, consider clicking the subscribe button. If you have, thank you so much. And just come join our group if you're not, if you, if you're not already a member. And it uh, be nice to have you here. Again, thank you for visiting. I do appreciate it. And until next time, go get them. Mark out.